Hi, I want to welcome you to our online class in mythology. My name is Sam Johnson. I'm your instructor for this course. And uh, if you've gotten this far, you already are aware that we have two video clips uh, and or audio clips, as such as the one you're listening to, which uh, introduce you to the course and give you a little rundown on what to expect. Um, so you've probably already downloaded the real player media in order to listen to this and to view these clips. But I want to take a few minutes just to kind of run through the course for you and highlight some of the features, some of the things that we'll be doing during this um, semester in this particular course. Um, on the first course home button, which is where we're at right now, you'll find this welcome message from me along with a video welcome and a couple links that you should follow if you haven't already done so. You'll notice down towards the bottom of the page where it says students please note, uh, there's a link here to go to a student orienta orientation tutorial which takes you about 15 to 20 minutes to go through and I would really encourage you to do this if you haven't taken this tutorial yet. Basically what you'll find when you click that link is you'll find this short tutorial which runs through all the different aspects of how to take an online course. So this is a tutorial that's not specific to our particular course, but to any of the online courses that we uh, make available through Lake Region State College. So I'd, I'd encourage all of you, if you haven't done this, to take this student tutorial, uh, again, about 15 to 20 minutes to take that. Also located on this page is another link to the technical requirements and free software downloads for some of the things you'll need for an online course. When you click that, you'll get this particular uh, browser that'll open up and you'll notice that you have information about the best browser to use depending on the type of computer that you're using, um, any of the downloads that you need to have for your operating system whether it be Windows or a Macintosh operating system. Um, there are links to Flash Player, to uh, media, different media players and kinds of things that you might want to read through this and take a look at to, to make sure that you have all the latest software that you'll use for this class uh, and or maybe any other online classes that you take. So that's basically what this main course home page is, to welcome you and to provide you with a couple of those extra links and resources. Um, if you haven't already, you should take a few minutes to look at the other items that are listed under the course home. Um, we have the complete syllabus listed online. By clicking that, you can read through the requirements for the course. Uh, there's some information about myself here, incl including a link to some biographical information about me. Uh, take a few minutes to look at the syllabus. Um, calendar is a place that you can look at not only for ske scheduling your own events, but also any of the activities that we're going to be doing in class. Uh, any of the assignments and the due dates and things like that you can find under calendar. So you might want to be checking that from time to time throughout uh, this course as well. Uh, virtual office is a place where you can see a little picture of me here uh, uh, looking at some textbooks on my shelves, uh, but also some information about how to contact me. Um, we have toll-free 800 numbers. Obviously I'm available through email. Um, the best hours to locate me if you want to talk to me personally. Um, information about the help desk. Uh, we do have a 24-hour, seven days a week help desk. If you have difficulty with technical issues in this course, um, the help desk would be the place to contact for that, either by phone or by email. And we have links to our bookstore, too, if you need materials. Hopefully, by now, uh, you all have your textbooks, um, uh, so you don't need to purchase those. But if you need that or any other materials, the link to the uh, bookstore can um, be, be helpful to you. Um, the next item under Course Home is our FAQs. These are frequently asked questions about this course and about online courses in general. And you might want to take a few minutes to read through those frequently asked questions. This is also a place where you can post a question. If you have a question related to this course, um, you can post that question here and I can respond not only to you, but uh, to the entire class at the same time. This is a way that uh, uh, that you can have a question that probably, if you have the question, you know, chances are others will have a, the same question as well. So um, I can answer those for you in this space called Frequently Asked Questions. Uh, under the tab called Resources, you'll find information 
related to our textbook, the things that we're going to be doing in this course. You'll see that there's going to be some links here related to the mythology course we're taking. But also you'll find other uh, resource links here as well. Again, to textbook information, to our campus library, as well as the Odin Library, which is the, the statewide library system uh, for checking out books and, and things of that kind. Again, we have our 24-hour help center information and a link for technical information listed under resources as well. The next uh, item here is called the Student Center, and this is really the starting point for this course. Uh, if you haven't yet gone into the Student Center, I'd encourage you to do that. And this is a place where I can see many of you have, have already participated in this. But this is a place to go in and introduce yourself to the class. You know, we're, we're a large group. I think there are 25 of us all together taking uh, uh, this course. Um, and so this is a great place for you to go in and introduce yourself to the course, uh, to the class, so we get a chance to know you a little bit and where you're from and who you are. And you'll notice that I'm leading the way here with a little um, welcome and introduction to myself and telling you a little bit about me beyond what you find in the syllabus and in the virtual office area. So if you haven't done this yet, uh, you should go in right away and introduce yourself to the class under Student Center. The last item under Course Home is called Start Here. And uh, this is just a great place to look uh, to get a basic overall view of, of how these courses are set up. It's sort of a condensed version of the orientation, uh, very condensed, so it's not as detailed, but it does tell you a few basic facts about how to navigate an online course through Lake Region State College, including such things as the help buttons um, that you'll find on all the pages located up at the top, like you see up here, this help button. Every page has its own help section. So if you're not sure what's going on in that particular page, Click the Help button to get information. And there's other things here, too, that you should look at and read through in terms of how to uh, navigate and work with a, an online course such as this. The rest of the information in our shell deals with the specific weeks that we'll be covering and the assignments for each week. As you'll notice, I have each of the, each of the eight weeks listed here. This is an eight weeks course. So we'll be taking what is a semester-long course and doing it in eight weeks. Um, this course in mythology uh, will include uh, some, a pretty fair amount of reading. Uh, we don't have any research papers or, or anything of extensive nature like that, but there are several things that you need to be aware of. And I want to take just a few minutes to kind of walk you through the basic format of the course and how it's going to work. So each week you'll see the tab here that lists uh, the date that this set of assignments will be due. And when we click January 7th, you'll see the first thing that'll pop up under each of these tabs are the reading assignments for this particular week. Um, again, the, the reading assignments primarily will come from our textbook called World Mythology. Here's a cover picture of that uh, textbook that we're using. And you'll notice that the reading assignment for this week is listed. Uh, the mythologies that we're going to begin with are mythological stories from the Middle East. And so there'll be three stories, for example, that we'll be examining, or three myths that we'll examine for this first week, and they're listed here with the pages. Other assignments will also be listed here. And you can see that the other assignments for this week include the other things that are listed underneath uh, the tab for January 7th to the 13th. Um, you can click the next button, which is called My Question. Um, each week, I would like you to post some question that you have about the materials, the myths, the stories, the legends that we've read for this particular week. You can see the directions here, pretty straightforward. Um, this is our way of sort of having a discussion or starting a discussion, which we would typically do in a face-to-face -face class. We'd be sitting around and discussing the stories and asking questions and answering them together. Well, since we can't do this together online, face-to-face, -face, this would be the closest way to deal with that. So each week I'm going to ask you to post a question that you have about the material you've read for this week. Maybe it's something you didn't understand. Uh, maybe it's something you uh, disagree with. Maybe it's an interpretation you have or an idea you want to share with the class. Some question you have about the material that we've read. Post that here by clicking the Respond button. 
Then after you've posted your question for this week, uh, you should go back in and try to answer a question that one of your classmates has. So we have a sort of free-flowing discussion here. You post a question and then try to answer someone else's question. And you can see here that the total uh, points possible for this assignment are 50 points, up to 25 points for a thoughtful question that you generate, and then up to 25 points more for responding to a question that a, a fellow classmate has. Notice that the deadlines for these will be a little bit later in the week, um, sometimes Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. This week, since it's the first week of the class, we're uh, looking at midnight Thursday as the deadline for posting a question to this forum. That gives you a chance to read the stories that were listed for this week and to think of a, a question you have about that. So that's one of the activities that we'll be doing. Uh, the next activity we have is called Let's Discuss. And this is similar in nature, except this is where I post a question. This is sort of a weekly forum that we have in which I'll post a question based on the material for this week. And similar to under my question, uh, you respond to it. So you'll notice that for this week, for example, I've asked you to look at a, a set of definitions of what is a myth. What exactly is a myth? How would we define mythology? Well, the introduction to our textbook gives us some ideas. And when you go to this area called extras, at the end of this list of, of activities, you'll find another uh, document that has a list of definitions that try to attempt to explain or define what mythology is. After reading those, I'd like you to give your definition. How would you define mythology? How would you explain it to somebody? Um, and someone says, well, yeah, you're taking this class on mythology. Well, what exactly is mythology? How would you define that? And that's what you'll do here. Click the respond button and then post a short definition um, into what you think an explanation of mythology would be. So each week there'll be some kind of a, a class discussion question similar to that. The third thing that we'll do each week is we'll do our myth quest, which is actually a set of questions uh, specific questions now related to the uh, readings for this week. In this case, we're reading three short uh, mythological stories, and I have uh, you know two to three questions for each of the um, stories that we're reading. The way you respond to this, or the way you answer the questions here, are by using what is called the drop box. If you look at the top of the page here where the arrow is pointing, or at the top row where there's some tabs, you'll find one called drop box. After reading the assignment and thinking about how you want to respond to these, uh, you're going to click the tab that says Dropbox. And you'll have the opportunity here to submit your answers to a particular unit or a particular basket, as it's called. Make sure you select the correct basket for answering your questions. And then go ahead and do that. You'll be submitting those questions then for each of the um, set of assignments we have each week. Notice that you have the full week to work on this. So this is something that you can think about and kind of plan uh, throughout the week. Uh, the assignment is due by midnight Sunday. That's the end of the week. And you should then use the drop box to submit your answer no later than midnight Sunday. Of course, you could submit these earlier, but that's the deadline for getting those in. The uh, the next major thing that we'll be doing um, each week, I'll be posting a very short quiz, kind of a, a reading quiz, based on the myths that we're reading for that week. Again, this will be due the end of the week, so midnight Sunday, and you can take it earlier, but by midnight Sunday, you're going to need to go in and take this short, it's usually about 10 questions, 10 short questions, or usually multiple choice questions, and it's strictly a reading quiz to make sure that you sort of got the main points or understood the main things that are happening in the stories. Very short, easy to use, and it's, uh, you get the uh, scores back right away. It's a, it's a nice way to kind of keep up to date with what we're doing in the course. That's the, the reading quiz. So we'll have a short reading quiz each week as well. And then the last thing that we do, there will be a section called Extras. And this is a place where I'll be placing um, documents that we'll be using 
for this particular week, week. I might have some internet web links for you to go to and take a look at. I might also have some short video clips that go along with the myths that we are reading for this week. So this is sort of a resources area, if you will, called Mythology Extras, extras for you to look at each week. And that's basically it. This is going to be, this eight weeks is going to go very quickly. I think you'll enjoy it. I sure hope you do. I really enjoy teaching mythology. And you'll notice that under each tab, you'll have the same set of things to do. So it's very easy for you to plan your time, plan your schedule for the week in order to accomplish the tasks that need to be done and to have a very successful uh, result to our online class in mythology. Remember, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact me. You can contact me directly under the information found under our virtual office tab. Or if you just have a question that you want to ask me uh, that's related to the course, you can also post that question under the FAQs, the Frequently Asked Questions, and I'll get back to you and respond to the whole class at the same time under those areas. So that's great. I uh, look forward to uh, working with you in our mythology class. Um, so go ahead, and if you haven't yet gone to the Student Center, go in there and introduce yourself to everybody else. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now.